All right, what's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. So we are about to get into this worst things a teacher ever said about your disability or disorder. Um, I don't really have, well, I mean, I guess like I suck at math. I'm horrible at math. And I never really had a teacher though say anything rude or disrespectful about, cause you know, like being frustrated with me for not like you know understanding math problems i probably have dyscalculia or something but yeah um that was my only issue in school but i never had a teacher just outright say some bullshit out the side of their neck to me about it but yeah we're just gonna hop straight into this video so let's go anyone that has a disability or disorder what's the worst thing a teacher's ever said about it? i have a neuromuscular disorder called dystonia and it's a functional disorder so things trigger it in 10th grade i had fitness at the end of the day like the very end of the day like fifth period and we were doing this exercise this one day pushing like a 25 pound weight across the floor like on a towel and about halfway through the class uh this triggered my back and my back really started to hurt Ooh. and i started to get like this because that's what happens and i told my teacher and she was like you're fine it's almost the end of the day so i was like okay so i kept going a couple minutes later i literally couldn't walk and i couldn't breathe because my rib and my hip were crushing my right lung so i went over to my teacher and i was like i need to call my mom i need to go home now i need my meds i couldn't bring my meds to school because they were opiates so you know control oh, substance. Wow. meanwhile i could barely even talk to her and tell her i needed help because i literally could not breathe and she said no you can wait part two's already up okay part two one of my good friends like heard what was going on and mm. she knew about like what was going on with me sort of thing. She was like, she needs to call her mom. The teacher then got a little bit concerned because she could hear that I literally couldn't breathe mm. because this is what my breathing sounded like. After she clued into the fact that I literally couldn't breathe, this bitch did a one fucking 80. It was no longer, you need to wait till the end of the day. It was now, no, we need to important. call an ambulance. I was bawling my eyes out, couldn't breathe, and so much <laughs> pain. And I'm like, I don't need an ambulance. I just need to call my mom and get my meds. I just need to go home. Now she and overdoing she like, it. Oh, no, 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 no. So she called 911. When the paramedics got there, they needed to search my bag for whatever reason. And the vice principal was there helping them search my bag. The vice principal then found my vape, which was a suspendable offense. I'm sorry, part three is already up. Part three, uh, they finna the blame it on the vape. looked at me and goes, did you smoke something? Mm -hmm. I was like, no, bitch, I have a fucking disorder. Keep in mind, this shit was like a box mod with fucking zero nick. Like there was like, anyway, so the paramedics picked is. me up and put me on the stretcher. There were so many exits they could have taken considering it was the end of the day and everyone was in the atrium. But they decided to roll me through the entire school to go out the front door at the end of the day. So I was lying on the stretcher, bawling my fucking eyes out, also strapped down to it because I was losing my shit because I literally didn't need to go to the hospital and I was like, oh my god, they're gonna tell my mom about the vape. So I was losing my shit, so they strapped me down to the fucking stretcher and rolled me out while I was scream crying and couldn't breathe in front of literally the entire student body. And then they took Ooh, me a whole spectacle. I can't even put into words the embarrassment I felt when I went back to school a couple days later. I got you. So in the midst of all this, no one fucking called my parents. Like no one thought, oh, this 16 year old girl can't fucking breathe. She's strapped to a stretcher in an ambulance on her way to the hospital. Her parents work an hour away. Maybe we should fucking call them and let them know maybe. Anyway, so my vice principal came with me in the ambulance to the hospital. And when we got there, she called my parents. As I previously mentioned, my parents work an hour away. And the whole time we were just sitting them? there waiting for my parents or waiting for like the doctor to come see me. I couldn't breathe. I was strapped to the stretcher, freaking the fuck out still. And the fucking vice principal is just grilling me about the vape she found in my bag, which was making me cry even harder and making the situation even worse. Within the next hour, my parents got to the hospital and the first thing this bitch did was tell them about the vape. Let me know if you wow. want a part five. Probably the last part. Also, let me know if you want me to do more story times. <laughs> 
Anyways, my mom didn't get mad about the vape because she was more focused on the situation at hand. She wasn't even that concerned about me because we both knew that I just needed my medication. This was not the first time that this had happened. She was just more concerned with how the school decided to handle it. Anyways, I spent the rest of the night, probably five and a half to six hours at the hospital, and the doctor sent me home with the same meds I told my teacher I needed that to go needed. home and take in the first place. The fucking embarrassment I had a couple days later when I went back to school, what I can't even put into words. All of my friends knew what was going on, and I was fine with them knowing wasn't looking to have the entire fucking student body see me having a fucking panic attack not being able to breathe strapped down to a stretcher being rolled into an ambulance so yeah to anyone that has a disability or disorder what's the worst thing a teacher's ever said about it i have something called Raynaud disease which right here you could see my finger is purple which is because there is no blood circulation in it this is triggered by cold air water oh. holding a cold drink and it happens from my wrist to my fingertips and my ankles to my toes so the one day i'm coming from chemistry which is on the third floor to the basement for health class and it's really cold in the basement and this kicks in pretty quickly. So basically imagine this, but on all five of my fingers. My teacher was absent, so we had a sub. And to, to oh, fix shit. it, I have to put heat on it. So when I went up to my substitute teacher and said, I need to go to the nurse, it's like, it, it hurts, it's hurting me. He said, wait till I take attendance. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, let me ask again. And he goes, no. I started bursting out crying because of the pain. Part two is out. Here's part two of the story I just said. If you haven't watched it, go watch it right now. This will make more sense. So he says no, and at this point, I'm bawling my eyes out, crying. It's I'm in so much pain. So I go sit down and I'm talking to my friends, and they're like, "Hey, like, go. You have to go tell him what's going on." And so I go up to him and I show him my purple hands, both hands, completely purple at this point. Mind you, I've told him before that I have this disease in my hand. And he Man. goes, what class did you have before this? And I told him chemistry. And he goes, did you spill chemicals on you to make it turn purple? And I said, no. And he goes, did you put paint on your fingers? And I said, no, what? why did I put paint on my fingers? I was like, I have a problem. Like, it's a disease. Like, I can't help it. And he goes, oh, why didn't you say that? Oh, duh. I told this guy five minutes ago, if it was paint on my hands, why would I be crying? The audacity. I literally spent 20 minutes in the nurse crying. To anyone that has a disability or disorder, what's the worst thing a teacher's ever- So I have ADHD, dyslexia, and I have a small speech impediment. And oh, so, yeah. because I have those things, I get a special counselor, I get extra time on all my tests and everything. I get a, uh, when I have to take my test, I can go to my counselor's room and make sure I have privacy and make sure that like I'm getting help and all that stuff and um you cannot give me pop quizzes that's in a contract that I sign as a student before I go to the high school and so this teacher gives a pop quiz and you can't do that without giving me at least 24 hours notice and I say oh that's fine because I'm already doing really well in the class and I'm like hey can I go up to my counselor's office because I'm allowed to ask for that and he said no and I was like, why not? He's like, you're getting extra, you're getting special treatment. Why should you be able I to I knew she was going to say that. And you will not believe what he says next. I will give you a part two. Hold up. I, I knew okay, it. There's a part two to my last story. Okay. So I, I, he, I, Thank this you is time. a speech impediment. Hold on. Okay. I asked, can I go up to my high school counselor? And he's like, no. And I say, why not? And he says, why do you deserve to get special treatment? No one else is asking to do this. And I say, I because it's in my contract as a student. And he's like, you're not special. You have to stay here. It's not that hard. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's hard or not. Oh I just God. have to go up to my counselor. Like, why is it that big of a deal? He's like, because then that means I have to write you a pass. And I don't feel like doing that. You so don't need I, to be working here. I just sat there and I took the test and I failed. And then I told my counselor about it. And she yelled at him, and it was really funny. Mm. And he's he's like, he's one of those teachers that hits on all of the female teachers, no matter if they're married at our school. And he was just such an asshole. Like, oh my God. To anyone that has a disability or disorder, what's the worst thing a teacher's ever said about it? Ooh, I've been waiting for this. So I have epilepsy, and I have pre-seizure warnings. 
We call it glitchy. So one time in math class, I was feeling glitchy. Like I felt like I was gonna have a seizure. And I had a tendency like not to be in class. Like I'd walk out and never come back. And we had a substitute teacher who didn't know my seizure protocol. My girlfriend, Sarah, like she knew something was wrong. And I was like, I don't feel good. Can I go to the bathroom? The teacher looked at me, glared at me and was like, no, you can stay here. You have a tendency to leave. I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna have a seizure. Like I need to go. And like Sarah was like, she has epilepsy. Teacher's like, no, you can stay here. So I got mad. I looked at her and I was like, fuck you. I feel like I'm gonna have a fucking seizure and you're well, keeping no. me in class. I'm leaving. And she's like, if you're leaving, don't come back. I'm like, Sarah, come with me. She's like, no, Sarah, stay in the class. So I left and then Sarah followed me like for part two. Part two about my seizures. So the teacher's like, Sarah, stay in the classroom. And Sarah's like, her seizure protocol that you don't know about is somebody needs to go with her. And she's like, I don't believe it. And I've never seen the substitute teacher before in my entire life. So I could tell she was new. And I get that I had a tendency for leaving and I understand her reason for trying to keep us both in class. But who the fuck jokes about having a seizure? Like even I wouldn't go that far to get There's out of class. There's some kids that so I, I leave Sports and I go to the bathroom. I left my phone in the classroom by accident to prove to her that I was coming back. And Sarah ended up following me, but I didn't know that because she wasn't behind me when I was there. And I asked somebody in the bathroom. I was, I was laying on the bathroom floor. Like I was about to have a fucking seizure. And somebody who I'd never talked to in my entire life, she was one of the popular girls, was like, are you okay? Like, do you need something? And I was like, I need to call my mom. Like, I don't feel good. I'm gonna make another part, <laughs> part three. So I'm laying on the bathroom floor, like about to fucking have a seizure, I'm shaking. This girl's like, do you need help? And I'm like, yeah, can I borrow your phone? I need to call my mom, I feel like I'm gonna have a seizure. She's like, yeah, 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 like, okay, okay, okay. Called my mom, couldn't hold a straight conversation with her. So she knew something was wrong. And I swear to God, my mama bear just about lost her shit. Sarah entered the room and I told her, I was, I was like, for the teacher story. wouldn't let Sarah come with me. Like she doesn't know my seizure protocol. She thought I was lying. Like I'm in the bathroom shaking. My mom was like, stay there. I'll be right there. My mom's a teacher at another school. So Ooh. like Sarah walks in the bathroom. Miss mm. Domino comes in. That's, that's like the hub teacher. That's like the support teacher. My mom called the other teacher, like Miss Domino and lost her shit. I'm gonna tell you what she said. I'm totally gonna tell you what she said in part four, my final part. This is what my mom said to one of my teachers, Ms. Domino, the best teacher. She is like fucking amazing, I love her. She calls her and she's like, go and find my fucking daughter. She is in a bathroom somewhere about to have a seizure because her teacher does not know her seizure protocol. And I'm pretty sure my mom was more mad at the fact that like no one educated the fucking substitute teacher about my epilepsy. But like who lies about having seizures? So Ms. Domino comes in freaking out as like per usual. My mom gets there. She was not impressed. Sarah was like beside me the entire time. Cause she was like, 10 out of 10, like, I don't deserve her. She's like sitting there making sure I was okay. She didn't give a fuck about that teacher. She knew something was wrong and she came with me. That's a true best friend. Once I was all situated in the car with Sarah, she went back upstairs to that math class and just sorted everything out. Pretty sure my mom got her fired. When someone says they're gonna have a seizure, they don't lie. No, trust me. People lie about that shit, like. Like they do it to be funny or they do it to like prank or they do it to like get attention. But a lot of these teachers, some of these teachers, they don't fucking know how to handle like kids with disabilities. Like I seen that growing up. I seen that in high school. Like they don't know how to respond to that shit. They always think that you're trying to get like special attention or some shit. But yeah, that was my reaction y'all to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video.